champs so long as like alchemy. The champs at Staples to take on Lonzo in the Lakers. Now, Katie and Steph both missing previous games. Steph wearing a wrap on his right shooting hand, and that would be an effect in this game. But Lonzo was feeling some type of way. Backpedaling off the release. Three threes in the game. And look at him scoop and finish with the right hand. It's about time you started using that right hand at the rim, young man. This time diving to the floor, and there would be blood. Lavar at half mass after seeing his boy bleeding on the floor at Staples Center. He would return. Lonzo had himself a nice game, but don't let these highlights fool you. He he didn't he wasn't the story of the game and he didn't carry the Lakers by any stretch of the imagination. It was Ingram, Clarkson and Randall getting it done for the Lakers. Here we are late third, KD pull up and Ingram and KD matchup was the best matchup all night. Young Willow Smith really going at KD and making KD rise to the occasion. Steph Curry could not hit the broad side of a barn. Finally going to the rim with Look at him go over the screen at half court, exposing Draymond, and you know where Randall wants to go, to that left hand at the rim, 20 points off the bench to end the fourth, minute left, and one. They attacked Steph Curry relentlessly in the pick and roll. This time it's KCP, and the Lakers up three, but what do you know, it's that easy money sniper deep from three to silence the crowd with 45 seconds to go. So Luke, what are you gonna draw up against your mentor? It's Ingram, ISO at the top against Clay. He gets right, he doesn't get the call, misses high off glass, OT, OT, you never get much love when you go OT. Steph, that man Wardell Curry finally finds the bottom of the basket, back to back threes to open up overtime and you could feel Staples Center take a deep breath like uh oh. Uh-oh, it's Sheffin. But Igram would not go away, this time getting the and one call. And his length and first step are a problem for anybody he's playing against. The touch foul on Steph, but it's a foul. A foul's a foul. Josh Hart, two hands, hand check Steph, who goes to the line. But remember, the right wrist is wrapped. So if someone's gonna make a winning play, who are you gonna guess it's gonna be? It's gonna be that man, Day Day. The double back tip to the backcourt. Igadala secures the ball. And it's a valiant effort from this young Lakers team, but it wasn't enough as the chef finds his stroke in overtime and Draymond, all he does is make winning play. Woo! All right, man, that was fun. That was fun, but I, I'm not even gonna lie. I was stressed out, man. I was very frustrated. Let's touch on Steph Curry right away. Those of you that follow me on Twitter, going into the overtime, I was like, yo, we wanna win this game. We gotta sit Steph Curry. We gotta sit Steph Curry. And I stand by that. If I was a coach, I would have sat him. Credit to Kerr for sticking with him. And I know that's easier said than done. You can't really sit your superstars. You saw what happened to Fisdale right this week. Um, but it wasn't so much that he was missing shots. We, we know that his hand was wrapped. He's got a right hand injury on the shooting hand. It wasn't his missed shots. It was over his overall awareness and effort on the court tonight was just unacceptable, man. Getting back in transition, going over screens that he should have gone under. And then late in the game, Luke and the Lakers were just relentless picking on him on you know playing defense it was it was they'd put him in a pick and roll and he would do this thing where he would switch and then he would turn his back and try to switch back leaving the other defender out to dry so i was very frustrated with his effort we all know thus far 20 games in this is the lowest three-point shooting percentage of his career we can talk about his added strength and muscle to his upper body um, we can talk about the rhythm is he out of rhythm with kd giving up shots to kd fatigue but here here's something that I, I it's this is more mental or emotional that I'm starting to question watching his body language is Steph Curry having fun playing basketball anymore because that it, it doesn't really appear that he is to me and you know this would be the fourth season in a row going to the finals knock on wood Warriors fans right but I mean his world revolves around this and it's just been a whirlwind the last four or five seasons I think he may just be burnt out on basketball right now now, that's not to say that he can't refine his passion and joy, but he may need a break, man. He may need, remember a few seasons ago when LeBron took like a 10-day hiatus, went to Miami, you know, he got that, that Tim Grover shot in the leg, if you know what I'm talking about. And I'm not saying that for Steph. I don't think there's, a, I don't think it's a physical thing. I think it's a mental and an emotional fatigue that we're seeing with Steph Curry meteoric rise to fame, right? Is that is that the right word, right? It came out of nowhere. It was, so I guess that isn't. Anyway, you know what I'm talking about. 
So moving forward, I, I just I hope to see him having more fun. I'm not you guys know I'm not a numbers guy. I'm not really looking at the percentages. I think that will even out. But just pay attention to his body language, his smile count in a game. Right. Is he is he having fun? KD and Clay really bailed us out in this game throughout up until overtime when the chef got cooking, right? At Clay only had 20 points, but every basket was like a, a like a t- lead taking basket or like a momentum swinging basket. Shout out to Clay laying off the LA nightlife the night before. Swaggy got in there 13 minutes. He made a couple jumpers, dove into the crowd, was a little bit of a scary moment. But the Lakers, once again, it was that bench unit of Clarkson and Randall, both giving them 20 points off the bench. Julius Randall's a Laker, a a warrior killer, I should say. He's just one of those guys that gives Draymond trouble because he's one of the rare guys that actually loves physicality. You don't see too many bigs in the league that actually seek out physical contact. He does that. And then he's a little bigger, might be a little more quick than Draymond Green. And so that's a matchup if you pay attention to uh, Julius tends to get the better of Draymond, despite Draymond making that winning play at the end of the game. And he's always there when you need him. Katie and Ingram was a fun matchup. Ingram, we've talked about his elite first step. And he does this thing now where he swings his elbows kind of like Harden. He'll swing his elbows into the defender, and then he ends up getting the whistle. So Laker fans, you can't complain, man. The the dude's getting superstar calls in year two, 20 games in. But KD, I like the way he responded. He didn't do a lot of chirping or complaining to the refs. He just nutted up, went down the court, and started springing jumpers in Ingram's face. That's going to be a matchup to watch, you know, as the years go on, man. I think that that's going to develop into a nice little rivalry. But the Lakers, you know, it was one of those moments where you got to play. They rose to the competition, but they got they can't get beat by the Kings and the Suns and and these teams that are below them or at their level if they want any hope of competing for that eighth seed. But Lonzo, man, it's it's confidence, right? He and I kind of I was that's what was pissing me off too about Curry. It's like I've been killing Lonzo. Everybody's been killing Lonzo. He's struggling. Oh, he's gonna get loose on you, Steph. He's gonna get loose on you. So that that gave me a little extra. Um, juice and I and I, I was pissed off about that but credit to him for playing well he seems like he gained some confidence and he's getting a little more aggressive offensively defensively he was just fine the Lakers have a lot of length I think they have potential defensively but they get a little over aggressive you saw the Warriors hit them for a lot of back doors early in the game other than that man it was an entertaining game the refs were fine there was some bad late whistles Ingram mugging KD at midcourt, right? I don't know how you get away with that, but credit to the refs for not giving Ingram that call at the end of regulation. That was a flail and a flop, so that's fine. The Warriors on the longest road trip of the season coming up. We'll see how they do. Orlando, Miami, I believe it's Detroit. Early starts, cold weather. Don't expect them to come out and jump on teams, right? It's going to be one of those games, games, a lot of games where they have to rev up, but we'll see. I'll be back with all those. Hit that like, share, and subscribe. I'm out, y'all.